Greeting guys and girls, welcome to the last chem video of the year. Theme of the day today is going to be identifying our acids and bases for answering questions like these, right, where I give you an equation and then I'm asking you in this setup, who is the Arrhenius acid? Who is the Bronsted acid? Who is the Lewis acid? Who is the Arrhenius base, Bronsted base, Lewis base? And then who are my conjugate acid? Who are my conjugate base? And so when we attack a problem like this, right, there's a uh, system right, that I think can help as we go through. And the key to the system revolves around uh, a couple of things, right? The first thing that they'll revolve around is being able to identify your proton donor. Because once you do that, everything else kind of falls into place. Right? So if we're looking at steps in doing this, a right? couple things that will help. Rule number one, right, the acids and the bases always come from the left side of the equation. The conjugates come from the right side of the equation. Right, so right away, you know that the conjugates have to be on the right. So you have a 50-50 chance of guessing those right. And on the left, right, it's a little less than 50-50 because we have to check to see if they're Arrhenius or not. And so the first thing I do then, step three, is find the H plus donor. So you look at the equation. And when you look at the equation, you find a substance on the left that when you look at its partner on the right, it loses a proton. If you do that, it's your Bronsted acid. If you list it as a Bronsted, it is automatically a Lewis acid. And then you check to see if it's an Arrhenius acid. And how do I do that? I look for H3O plus on the right. If I see it, I list that substance as the Arrhenius acid. If I do not see H3O plus on the right, I don't have an Arrhenius acid. Similar sort of process. Right, four. The other thing should be the H plus acceptor. So you find the H plus acceptor. When you do, you look for a substance on the left that when you look at its partner on the right, it has gained an H. There's your Bronsted base. It will automatically be your Lewis base. And then we check, is it the Arrhenius base? And we're looking for an ion on the right, but this time it's the OH negative ion on the right. If you see it, list the Bronsted base as the Arrhenius. If not, there is not one. And that's our system, all right, for what we're doing. 
All right, so if I take a look at this one here, what I'm going to do is just copy and paste these guys over here. I look at this question. First thing I do is I dive into the question and I find my proton donor. All right, so I see NH4. I spot its partner, NH3. Then I decide what happens. All right, so I went from NH4 plus to NH3. All right, this guy lost in H. That makes it your proton donor. So NH4 plus is my Bronsted acid. If it's my Bronsted, it is automatically my Lewis acid. Then I have to check to see if it's the Arrhenius acid. So I go to the right side of the equation and I look to see are either of these H3O plus. They are not, which means we don't have an Arrhenius acid. Then I look at my other substance, which I think should be my base. I've got CN negative going to HCN. How does this happen? He gains an H. If you gain an H, you are the Bronsted base. So the CN negative is the base. If it's the Bronsted base, it's automatically the Lewis. And then to see if it's an Arrhenius, we check over here. Are either of these guys OH negative? They are not. So there's no Arrhenius base. And then last but not least, your conjugates. Right? The Bronsted acid gets partnered with the conjugate base. Remember, the names are opposite. So you already know his partner, NH4's partner is NH3. You just got to make sure you switch it's the conjugate base, right? So the conjugates will come from the right side and they're always opposite what you see. So NH4's partner is the conjugate base. CN negative's partner is the conjugate acid. And that's how we will attack a problem like this. So I'm gonna go through a series of these, all right? And hopefully you guys will have a good idea of what's to come. All right, so we look at this guy. Sometimes like, there'll be other stuff attached to your substances, and it gets a little tricky to figure out who gets paired with who. All right, so once you see the pairings, though, things tend to be pretty uh, straightforward. So I look to see, okay, who is HCl paired with? I look over here. HCl looks more like NaCl. And then the other pairing, NaOH, who is it paired with? H2O, which don't forget, we can call HOH. So there's its partner. All right now we have to find our proton donor. All right, so doing that, all right, we look. So here's HCl. So I have a Cl with one H. Here's NaCl. I have a Cl with no Hs. So I went from having one H to zero Hs. There's my H donor. Remember, acids always have to have hydrogen in them. Right? So there's my Bronsted acid, HCl. If it's your Bronsted acid, it's automatically your Lewis. And then we look over here. Do I see H3O plus? I do not. There is no Arrhenius. Then I look at my other pairing. NaOH, I have OH with no Hs attached. And I have OH with one H attached. There is my proton acceptor. So there's my Bronsted base. So NaOH. 
N A O H. And I look to the right. Do I see O H negative by itself? I do not. So there's no Arrhenius phase. Then you're into the conjugates. Who was HCl's partner? It's NaCl. So if HCl is my acid, its partner is the conjugate base. And NaOH's partner was water. NaOH was the base. Therefore, it's my conjugate acid. All right. So there's one when there's some ions attached in the front. All right. And each one's going to be a little bit different. All right, third one, All right, this guy here, All right, find your pairs to start. All right, so who looks the most like CH3N looks like CH3NH+. How do I go from CH3N to CH33NH+. I gain an H. So if I gain an H, that makes me my base. Right? So I know C H three three N is my base. If it's my Bronsted, it's automatically my Lewis. So I'll drop it down into that line. And then I check. Do I see OH negative on the right? Yes, I do. Right? And because I see OH negative on the right, I will list my Bronsted base as the Arrhenius base as well. All right. That makes me think that the H2O must be my acid then. So I have H2O getting partnered with H1O. How do you do that? You lose an H. Your proton donor is your acid. That makes it automatically the Lewis. Do I see H3O plus on the right? I do not. So there's no Arrhenius acid. And then I do my conjugates, which will be the partners. Who's H2O's partner? It's OH negative, so your acid partner is your conjugate base. Who's this guy's partner? It's the CH3, 3NH plus. All right, take a look at this one. All right, so if we look at this guy, step one, find our pairs. Right, so who looks the most? like the HNO3, it's the NO3 negative. How do I go from HNO3 to NO3 negative? I lose an H, I donate an H, and your proton donor is always your Bronsted acid. So we get the HNO3. If you put it on the Bronsted line, it automatically drops to the Lewis line, and we have to check to see if it bumps up. Right, so I look, the ion I look for for an Arrhenius acid is do I see H3O plus on the right? Yes, I do, which means I move the HNO3 up. So the H3O plus isn't the Arrhenius acid. It's just telling you that there is one. So it's whatever the bronze that acid is just bumps up if you see H3O plus. Right, H 2O becomes H3O. There's my proton acceptor. So the H2O is my Bronsted base. If it's the Bronsted, it's automatically the Lewis. And then we have to check, does it bump up? So I look, I don't see OH negative. So there is no Arrhenius base in this one. 
then it's my conjugates. All right, my acids partner is the conjugate base. So who's HNO3's partner? It's the NO3 negative. And who's your H2O's partner? It's H3O plus because the Bronsted base has the conjugate acid. All right, trying another one. Step one, spot your partners. So we have the CH3, COOH, partnered with CH3, COO negative. How do I go from CH3COOH to CH3COO without an H, I lose an H. I donate an H, which makes it my Bronsted acid. So the CH3COOH is here. It automatically drops to the Lewis line. And then we check, does it bump up? So to see if it bumps up, we're looking for H3O plus. On the right, it's there, which means I am going to move the CH3, COOH up. And that makes me think H2O is gonna be my base. It's with H3O plus, so it gains. Bronsted base gains a proton, so H2O is going to go here and here. I don't see OH negative, so no Arrhenius base. Then it's the partner game. My acid's partner, conjugate base, which means the CH3, COO negative is my conjugate base. And your basis partners, your conjugate acid, which makes the H3O plus your acid. All right, take a look at one like this. Starting to see it's a little repetitive. Just want to make sure you guys understand. Right. CN negative. Who looks the most like that? It's HCN. And how do I go from CN negative to HCN? I gain an H. So if I'm gaining an H, that makes it my base. So CN negative. CN negative. Do I bump it up when I'm looking for a base? I see OH negative. So yes, the CN negative bounces up a line. That means H2O should be my acid. Its partner is going to be OH negative, which is think of it as H1O. So I get H2O is my Bronsted acid. It automatically bumps to the Lewis acid. But to bump up, we need to see H3O plus on the right. I do not. So no Arrhenius. The Bronsted acid's partner is my conjugate base. So H2O's partner is the OH negative. And my Bronsted base's partner is the conjugate acid. So you get the HC. Save a couple for questions if we have them, but let's take a look at one or two more that have the ions in front. Uh, 
Okay, let's look at one like this. All right, so if we look at this thing, again, spot your partners. H, SO3 negative, partner, going to be H2 SO3. How do I go from H1 SO3 to H2 SO3? I gain an H. And if I gain an H, that makes me my base. So the H, S, O3 negative is your Bronsted. That means it's automatically your Lewis. We think, will it bump up? Well, I have to see OH negative and I don't. It does not bump up. Then we look at our other pair, H3O plus with H2O. How do I go from H3O to H2O? I lose an H. That makes it my Bronsted acid automatically goes on to the Lewis line. And do I see H3O plus on the right? I do not. So there is no Arrhenius, right? So the H3O plus has to be on the right to confirm Arrhenius. All right, then it's your conjugates. Your Lewis acids partner right? is your conjugate base. So H3O plus is partner is H2O. And your Bronsted basis partner is your conjugate acid. So it's the H2SO3. So as you go through these guys on the test, it's really important that you don't forget the charges, right? HSO3 negative, right? Not just HSO3. So if there's a charge in the equation, make sure you have a charge on the line when you write the thing. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's the last of the new content. So I'm going to share this video with you, and then I'm going to share the acid base exam with you. All right. And uh, it is Wednesday, right? So we'll set the acid base exam um, deadline, uh, let's say Saturday at midnight, because I got to be able to get them graded uh, by June the 1st, which is when grades are due. And this time I will say you do not have to justify your multiple choice answers, right? I just need my list of multiple choice answers, right? And the rest of the test, which you will see coming your way. I uh, hope everything else is well. Miss all you guys, right? And have a very nice Wednesday.